Nick Rudder from McKees37.com. This is an up close and personal view of the LC Power Tools Udos 51E. This machine is a five in one polisher. It replaces the need for five separate tools. What makes this tool really unique, besides the fact that it's assembled in the USA from globally sourced materials, is with this collar right here, you can change the type of tool it is. It can be a rotary polisher, it can be a sander, or it can be an orbital. And with the orbital, you can change three different uh, orbits, or stroke, as you can call it. So this tool is made by LC Power Tools, a division of Lake Country Manufacturing. They're the number one pad manufacturer. They have been for many years, fantastic company, and the exclusive manufacturer of our Redline foam buffing pads. They spent years developing this tool. It's their first power tool. You can tell from the ergonomic design and the way everything's laid out, that it was absolutely developed by detailers for detailers, enthusiasts, and beginners. And the way it works is you have this locking collar here, and essentially you line up the different tabs, and you pull it down, and you lock it in place. And it changes. Oops, you got to make sure everything's lined up. From a rotary, which is a direct drive, spins in a circle, to an uh, 8mm sander, 12mm dual action, 15mm dual action, and 21mm dual action, tongue twister. And what that, um, the, the stroke means, or the millimeter, is the size of the orbit for the pad. So the stroke of the tool, the larger the stroke, the larger the orbit, the more area, the surface area, the tool covers. So for example, when you're working on a car like this, you have a big flat hood, like most vehicles. Putting it in the P3 mode is going to cover the most area because you have a very large stroke. The machine is covering a lot more area than if you were to be in, let's say, 12 millimeter. So it saves you time, and if you're a professional detailer, time equals money. So I'm going to apply McKees 37 Fast Polish on one of our all-in-one Redline foam polishing pads. The machine comes with a 5 inch hook and loop backing plate. Our 5 and 3 quarter inch pads, they pair wonderfully with it. A nice rubber cord, which I put over my shoulder. And another advantage of the 21 millimeter orbit compared to a standard uh, dual action polisher is you cover a much larger area. So instead of working on, let's say, a 16 by 16 inch, you can cover a larger area, which saves you time. Put the machine at a lower speed setting to spread it out. And when you're in dual action mode here, you'll see that there's a variable speed dial. You're always going to want to be in speed 3 or above. So for polishing, I'm going to be in speed 5 out of 6 total. This tool is very smooth and it's very quiet and it feels like it's extremely well built. So with the 20 mil 21 millimeter action, you can see just how fast I was able to polish about a fifth of this Miata hood. Take my microfiber towel, I wipe off the polish, and fast polish, it's a finishing polish, so you can use it on a vehicle that's in relatively good shape like this Miata. Uh, there's no swirls. There are some deeper scratches, but overall it's in great shape. And I'm going to use the fast polish as my step before I wipe it down with the coating prep spray and then apply our ceramic paint coating. So let's say I did come across a scratch on the hood or a scratch on the door. 
that's where this tool really excels because you can switch it over to rotary mode and you can have a direct drive tool that is far more powerful and more effective at removing scratches than a random orbital dual action machine. So that's the difference. Now, what makes me so excited about this tool, because I've detailed a lot of cars, is normally I would use a larger stroke machine for the hood. I'd unplug it, I'd go grab my other tool, something that's smaller to do an area like this complex fender. However, with this machine, I can swap it out from a 21 millimeter, which is not gonna work as well on these smaller areas, to a 12 millimeter with the same tool. So you can do that, simply add more polish. And you'll notice with McKee's 37 polishes, a little bit goes a long way. I'm not applying a lot at all. And I'll spread it out. So you can see the 12 millimeter action is much more effective at a complex panel because the 21 millimeter action, the machine would stall because the pad was not remaining flat. So the 12 millimeter, by having the closer knit uh, orbit there, the machine's gonna keep rotating where the 21, it'd be going too big, it'd be stopping here, and it'd be stopping there. So that's the advantage of having a tool like this. Then take your towel, Wipe off the polish. So as you work your way around the car, you go from 21 mil, you can experiment and do 15 mil. Let's say you come across a scratch or a scuff mark, you swap it over to rotary mode, or God forbid you have to use the sanding mode to sand out some defects, swap it over to rotary, and then the dual action, all in one tool. So that's the LC Power Tools, Udo's 51E, five in one machine. It's a fantastic choice if you wanna simplify your detailing process because again, it combines five tools into one. For more information about the Udo's 51E, visit mckees37.com. If you like videos like this, click subscribe, turn on your notifications, and most importantly, shop at mckees37.com. Take care. God bless.